Hello, hello, hello. Mr. Bucks that likes to Hold on. Get this girl out of here, bro. Get me out of here. Yo, you do it, bro. What if I do what? Get out of my face. Wait, what is happening? Now, what the f is Crazy. Yeah, I, I want to welcome y'all to Black Ink's Battle of the Tattoo Titan. Everybody's trying to grow right now. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's okay if people grow in different directions. All right, so I, I quit. I quit. Please let everybody know. Brock, you do what the f you want with your life. The war. I. I can't do this no more, bro. I want to wish you the best with everything that you do. But I'm going to tell you now, you ain't part of Black Ink no more. I just can't have you in my life right now. I can't keep sitting here taking okays and it's cool. Like, I guess we wasn't meant to go on the same path. Doesn't mean I hate you, but I got to do what I got to do. It's everything good with seafood, man. For real. With all that family, for real. Yeah. I love you, man, for real. I love you too, man. I know from this moment forward, talking to Walt, we could never be the same again. And honestly, I don't even know if we'll ever speak again. My reality is, I have to get used to portrayals and looking out for them. Regardless of the way the situation is right now, that doesn't take away from all the good times, the good years, the good moments, the good memories, the good laughs. Yo, well, I need you to watch the front for me, more. I'm going out while I'm touching. What y'all doing? I'm trying to talk to them about the birds and the bees. I'm oh, wow! <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? Everybody know my history wasn't the prettiest, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been through some in my life. And the Black Ink fam, they helped me out a lot. It's made me who I am today. I discovered a few of my passions while at the shop. I found the love of my life. I now pronounce you both husband and wife. Yeah! Got my hands tied with no hesitation. Yeah, I won't vote for it, no. Black Ink, it's my family. It's always going to be my family. Black Ink is tatted on me. We go through the ups and downs, the good, the bad, the ugly, and in between. That's just what family does. They always gonna be a family, no matter what. Yeah, I won't fall for it no more. I love you. I'm sorry. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you. Um, I'll see you soon, I guess. I don't know, call me. My time with Black Ink has been, I don't know, a learning lesson. Oh! So how you doing, Donna? I'm excited. I moved to New York from Ohio to pursue my dreams of being a tattoo artist. It was some low points, you know, fighting with people I thought I was cool with. Bro, oh, hey, what's good? Oh, you know, I'm not gonna be appreciated everywhere. Did you know you misspelled the client's tattoo? Oh, we got an extra letter. Don't get me wrong, I had a lot, a lot of good times in Black Ink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Donna, you taking these columns home with you, right? And they come with instructional leaf. But everybody that comes into your life is not somebody that's going to stay in your life. And people come in to teach you lessons. So I think I grew up a little bit. But you can't at least just say, you know what? Donna crazy, and she talked back. But that girl persevered, <laughs> period. And I can spell it. So for the people that don't know me out there, my name is Van. I'm a tattoo artist, I'm a business owner, I'm also one of the founding members of Nine Mad. This is the new key to our new shop. And now, I'm Caesar's partner at Black in Houston. So what y'all been doing, man? Y'all looking good. What the f your girl Donna at, bro? Who? Don't act like y'all don't know who the f Donna is, dog. Whoa, 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 what the f was that? Who? Damn. There was some big names around here. They've been around for forever. 
Yeah, long story short, Walter broke into our shop and stole from us, and Donna thought she was a day one and started mad bull between us. So we said that Alex is staying in the shop and she can't. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you, yo. I swear to God. It's basically me in Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> but I was a day one, though. Let's not forget that. But You know what I'm saying? But, you, yes, hey. you have, yes. You have a legitimate <laughs> argument of being a day one over there. It is what it is. So that relationship out there with them is over with 1,000%. Yeah, so sometimes when you moving forward in life, you ain't got no time to take no steps backwards. So Makes sense. It is what it is. Not here for the shine. Not here to be popping. Champagne, all the time. Talking about you, yo. How are you? I'm good. Hey, yo, what's up? How y'all doing? Now, I've been working for Caesar for a very long time now, and one thing I've learned over the years is never get too comfortable because Caesar runs Black Ink, not anybody else. Introduce yourself to the crew real quick. My name is Michelle. I'm from Dallas, Texas. What's up? Yeah, Dallas in the building. What's up? I met her way, way back in the day. I always had my eye on her, but it took her a little bit to get here. She's a tremendous artist. How long have you been tattooing? Almost nine years. Oh, yeah. nice. Damn. When Caesar said upgrade, he wasn't lying. So, let me show you your um your new booth. What new new booth? That's Crystal's old booth. Oh, it's oh, it's oh, oh, oh. I knew it. I told you at dinner, nobody is safe. All right. I'm with it. Let's do it. Boys, please stay away from her. Ladies, please show her the hospitalities and whatnot. Have a good day. All right, sir. I'll talk to you later. Appreciate you. Come on in, everybody. And what the f is Hey, yo. First of all, who do y'all think y'all are? But this is crazy. As y'all can see, I want to welcome y'all to Black Ink's Battle of the Tattoo Titan. to my lounge, come on. Oh, they got a little bar in mind. Yeah, the bar's open, you know what I mean? And over there, we got some monitors so y'all can watch the action on stage. Yeah, I didn't think we were gonna get this on uh, 113. That's what we worked for. So how do you judge all the artists from each Black Ink City? Simple. Bring them in for one night, have them compete on one stage, and be judged by the three bosses of each Black Ink City. It's genius, and it's a win for the culture. Every artist here has earned a place on stage tonight, but only one of you will be able to claim the title of the Tattoo Titan. All right, got a headache. Everybody have a seat. Just relax. Now, ain't gonna be no screaming, ain't gonna be no bagging for no nuts. Stay here with me. Y'all gonna listen. Y'all are great artists, but y'all have to grow the up, yo. If y'all feel that y'all can't be cordial at this moment, then I don't know what to tell y'all. It's either y'all do that or y'all don't be part of this company no more. What y'all wanna do? All right, you good? My, my, I have anxiety. I have serious anxiety. I cannot do this right now. For real. Why are you crying again? Because my is up right now. What? Like... Listen, I got my own legal to deal with. I do not got time for this old Black Ink 113 bull, yo. We not bringing this to Brooklyn. Why she gonna flip this around? You explain it, did it, man. Don't cry. Get to work. Just get to work. Yeah, but bro, but bro, you, you always be talking. Guys, I'm sorry I haven't been around much lately, but with all of these unfortunate events and, you know, emotions flying around, I feel like I can introduce the shop to my world of equanimity. Yo, what the f you just said? What was that word? Equanimity. Uh, look up that word. Equanimity means practicing mental calmness. The shop needs equanimity. So I'm creating a space where I could go chill, relax, kick it, release from stress. And honestly, I feel like the crew could definitely benefit from it. So whenever you guys feel like there's a lot of pressure on you or you just got to clear your mind, that's what this space is going to be for. Equanimity. 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 Today, we're here to announce the culmination 
of a massive long-term investigation into drug trafficking in the Hempstead area. He allegedly arranged for three kilos of cocaine to be shipped from Puerto Rico to the post office box owned by his friend and co-defendant, Tatiana Ritter. I know, Aladdin. My current legal issues definitely takes me back to that feeling of being arrested before. I'm so scared because I don't even know like what I'm supposed to do or how I'm supposed to get out of it. I literally have no idea what's gonna happen in a month. So I'm overwhelmed, I'm depressed, I'm stressed out, I'm manic, I'm scared, it's terrifying. I definitely did not want to put y'all through right. that. Okay. All right. You know daddy got your back. I know. What? Baby, don't make me, don't make me do this right now. On the right knee? I think so, it's the left knee. Okay, I don't know. I've never done this before. I've never done this before, but I want to know if you're serious. Honestly, I wasn't thinking about proposing. I just wanted to take her out on a nice dinner, tell her I was ready for kids, but something came over me, and I ran with it. I know this ain't the ring that you wanted, but if you're really down to be my wife, you know. Crystal Morales, you be my wife. Yeah. Thank you for being in my corner. Thank you for always being there for me. I feel very lucky. If you were a fruit, it'd be a fine apple. Uni is honestly the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. She's beautiful, she's compassionate, she totally understands me. I'm so happy she came up to visit for Milena because I really miss having her close to me. The business is great. We're making money. I get to spend time with uni. So my life is booked and definitely busy. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's a beautiful night. It's almost as perfect as this view right here. Oh, you beat me to it. I was definitely going to hit you with that. You know what this is, girl? Cat Head is, um, it's from that movie. What's the name of the movie? ATL? What's your name, Nuno? I'm Wet Wet. Oh, uh, OK. <laughs> It's been really hard to just keep the shop running while Caesar's trying to recoup the shop. So I'm so excited to just experience Atlanta with Jack. I can't believe you here. This place is special to me. Yeah? It's like so many memories, breakups, you know, seeing your girl cheat on me, all kinds of huh. You excited? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little scared. Ah! It's OK. But you know, if I do that, my ass is going to be all out. Last time I went skating, it didn't really go well. Stop! I don't feel safe! <laughs> so if me skating for Jay is not proving how much I love him, I don't know what would. I wrote my waist, feeling like the baddest chick in this place. Look at me! You see me? I see you, girl. You got it, baby. I did good. You, you did good, honey. Don't push me. Uh, Hold on. I got one more thing to show you. What is I got it? A, I got a little surprise for you. What's up? Ah, uh, what's next? You gonna bring your ex out or something? Because I don't think I can handle another surprise. I brought a song for you, honey. You did? I did. It's romantic cold. It's so natural. Way I pull up on you at your door. Got you talking crazy every day, baby. <laughs> Mm. Oh my God, Jay, so cute. I'm definitely bringing Jay to this party. Tata is just mm. singling out my relationship for no reason. Let me be happy, bitch! Oh, you are. I hope you know that your love right here is safe. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Mr. Bucks that likes to Get this girl out of here, bro. Get me out of here. Yo, if you do it, bro. What if I do what? Get out of my face. Wait, what is happening? Back up out my face. See, now is why you didn't get him. You want to talk about the So let me tell you how your boy tried to play me. Yeah, that's that's crazy, bro. Let's talk about how unloyal he is and got to say about everybody in here. And I'm about to get you out, mother 
Well, Buck has finally become a Black Ink member because we've all had somebody pull up on our ass. You really came up with this to really ruin my life some more? Go home. <laughs> Bitch ass Yo. Really <laughs> used to this shit, man. Yeah, it's not the most professional shit to do while you got customers sitting there, but it's good entertainment. Enjoy the festivities. Now let's get it poppin'. Since your boy wanna front like I'm this nobody, we've been fucking around for a whole year. Calm down. But I, that's what not even my girl. Me and this girl had a brief thing. She started out as a client. I had drawn up this rose here. That says left as the stem. I wanted to break things off because she wanted things I didn't want. She was texting me, I was ignoring her. The fact that she came in here blasting my personal business is insane. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, I could tell it all. So you came in hot, girl. Where should I begin? Where should I begin? Um, okay, let's talk about how unloyal your friends are. The way that Bucks made it sound, you would have thought that they had nothing going on. What the Let her tell a story. You tried to play me? That ain't happening no more. Oh, and you talked about Spider's wife? Hey, easy. Tummy tuck how that was whack? Easy, I'm sorry. easy. Wait, what? Easy, I'm sorry. Easy, but that's what he said. Easy, I'm sorry, I'm easy, nothing against you. Nothing easy, against you. I said what? Nothing easy. against you. Is Buck? Breaking the laws of black ink? Bitch, I'm talking. Shame. Shame. Yo, I have conversations Easy. about this sh I want you. I said to you, don't play with me, right? You piece of That killed my whole happiness. But y'all are engaged, so focus on, you know. The moment's been ruined. No, I think y'all yeah. maybe just need to have a one-on-one, -on -one and everybody's trying to grow right now. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's okay if people grow in different directions. All right, so I, I quit. I quit. Please let everybody know. Brock, you do what the f you want with your life. I honestly feel like I don't have it in me to let Caesar treat me this way. So I'm gonna just do what I gotta do and just step away. And hopefully my absence from the shop shows Caesar how important I am to black game. This is my lawyer. Good morning, Mr. Niles. Good morning, Tatiana. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I've been waiting for a call from my lawyer all week. The DA has finally made a decision, and now I'm finally going to find out my fate. I don't even know what to think right now. Uh, I just wanted to give you a call and give you some news. And the fact that the next few words that come out of my lawyer's mouth is determining my future, I'm terrified. Um, we have made progress, and uh, we've negotiated an offer uh, that does not include any jail time. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. I don't even have the words to express what I'm feeling right now. Woo! Oh, God. I feel like I'm melting. With no further ado, it's time for the final round, the Battle of the Forces. For the first time ever in history, we're having a Battle of the Bosses. Brian, Caesar, and KP for the Battle of the Tattoo Titans. Bosses, baby. We need some judges. So, we're gonna use our female Titans. Okay. But. We only got two judges. We need one more. So, please welcome my special guest judge, Kat. Kat, welcome. Thank you. Kat is family to Black King. She went out to Beverly Hills and made her own shop. I got to salute her because she's a boss of bosses. And at the end of the day, who else would I have to judge the bosses round? Thank you, C's. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here. I'm proud of all of you guys. And let's get this going. Let's get it on. This changes the whole dynamic. Racism definitely affects all minorities and we have to come together and fight it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. creative dream. If you're a minority, 
you've dealt with racism, a lot of people are getting targeted, sadly, because of the way they look. So we're here to show that we're in this together. We as a people from all nationalities and all colors, we all experience hate. So we gotta all come together for the bigger cause, which is love. And that's what I'm all about. Why put the next person at risk? I never realized that I was being so selfish. We accomplished more doing this together, cause we, 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 we got it. Love and hate don't mix. Whatever they try to break, we can fix. Unity is a real plot twist, cause the walk was successful. And now we're gonna finish the day with this beautiful balloon release. You just gotta let the racism go. <laughs> I remember when we signed a lease for here. We are moving out of the projects to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Let's go get our keys. Welcome to Black Ink. This is like the second baby. Like this was the first step out of the comfort zone. Remember my total party we had in here? I want to thank all y'all for coming to this 125th shop. Didn't you do the late great DMX's tattoo in here, the one that's on the album cover? Yeah, right in that corner, bro. There's nothing wrong with, 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 with making it bigger than the hood, but you don't want to lose the hood. Remember where it started, how it started, why it started. I love Harlem, Puma. You and Harlem still so. We always gonna be representing Harlem, yeah, you feel me? The Black Ink brand in Harlem, it's like peanut butter and jelly low key, you know what I'm saying? 125th Street, to see this one close, like this one hits a little different. I know Caesar's trying to play this off, like this is not a big deal, but it definitely is. Black Ink is attached to Harlem, and there's no more Harlem shops. Can you feel the energy? Can you feel the rushing in, rushing in? Hearing Harlem with no black ink is like hearing Ashford with no Simpson, Martin with no Gina, Jay-Z and no Beyonce. It just don't make sense. We we'll forget our lives. Can you feel the energy? When we're in perfect synergy. I'm all about expansion and growth. Maybe 145th. Maybe go back to 110. Because I'm not leaving my baby Harlem. No, never. I'm not. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch your number two.